Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Redemption Week on House of Games. Four former contestants are joining battle once again. We've had two separate winners already. Somebody on Friday is winning this trophy. Who is it going to be? Will it be Jeff Stelling? <laughs> Sophie Duca? Babatunde Aleshe? Or Gabby Roslin? Sophie, a huge win for you on Monday. Yeah. Tuesday, Gabby Roslin. How about that? How did that feel? Shock. Shocked, completely shocked. And you won a yo-yo, which you gave to uh, Babatunde's yeah. son, Judah. And I hope Judah's going to love it. You're going to teach Judah every trick. Absolutely. Including the sleeping. Yeah, sleeper. And the yep. rocking horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Judah. Yeah. He's Around the world. <laughs> so you're going to be going, we have got to take photographs and send them to Gabby. Yes. Yeah. But <laughs> so, Judah, so pretend you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> It's very, very important. Yes. Um, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall we, very quickly. Gabby, you're actually at the, uh, the top of it now with seven. Uh, Sophie, you've got six. Jeff, not doing too badly there with five. And Baba at the bottom there with two. Jeff, that's not a bad position to be in after two days. Yeah, um, I think I probably peaked, unfortunately, but we shall see. Oh, you always say that, though, Jeff. You yeah. always say that. You know. I'm usually right. But we've had redemption for Sophie. We've had redemption for Gabby. We need a day for the boys, don't we? I don't think Baba cares. <laughs> no. I, don't I think I think Baba has got life pretty much worked out. I, th I think uh, I think he's he's self redempted, Baba. But just I just sense maybe there's some redemption needed for Jeff Stelling. Just okay. a tiny bit. Yeah. And also, if you get redempted, is redempted a word? Redeemed. Ooh. Redeemed. But redeemed. that sounds like you're a boots voucher. Yeah. Um, either way, if you do that, you'll win a prize. So okay. Here are today's prizes. There's the deck chair, the water bottle, the cushion the scented candle, and the bird box. Jeff, you have about a million animals mm. you're about in the countryside. Bird, but you, you've got bird boxes already. Yeah, you can never have too many bird boxes. Yeah. Uh, we have millions of birds come to the house, you know. We are the world's leading users of mealworm. Oh, really? Birds absolutely love. But you've got seven cats as well. Yeah, you used and to have nine, but unfortunately a, a couple of them went to the, the great cattery in the sky, but they were very old. We've got seven, yeah, and three dogs. So, low, so we we'll go with the bird box. Definitely, definitely the bird um, box. Sophie? Uh, it's mainly pigeons where I live, so okay. I think I'm going to go for the deck chair. Deck chair, exactly, mm. for the pigeons. We'll love that. Uh, Baba? Uh, the cushion, I'd go for that. Cushion, it's yeah. nice, the cushion. Gabby? Well, I'd bird box, again. Yeah. Just, nice, I don't right? have one. Um, shall we play Wednesday's mm -hmm. House of Games? We're two yeah. separate winners so far. Are we going to make it three out of three? Let's find out, shall we? Your first round today is... Only fools and zebras. Fingers on buzzers, please. What I'm going to do is show you a category. Your first category is birds. Ah, oh. Oh, that's a bit of fun. Um, I will ask you a question. It will have a bird in the answer. I will also show you a picture of a different bird. And you must replace the bird in the answer with the bird in the picture. Here's your first one. Legendary outlaw who hid in Sherwood Forest with his merry men. Yes, Gabby. Magpie Hood. Magpie Hood. Robin Hood becomes Magpie Hood. Absolutely right. Uh, next one. 1960 novel by Harper Lee. Jeff. To kill a blue tit. To kill a blue tit. To kill a mockingbird becomes to kill a blue tit. Absolutely right. Next clue, next picture. Singer of Shake It Off and Look What You Made Me Do. Yes, Sophie. Taylor Penguin. <laughs> Taylor <laughs> Penguin. <laughs> now, that's a name change. She <laughs> could, uh, <laughs> could do Taylor Swift becomes Taylor Penguin. Forget birds now. There will now be a herbal spice in the answer. Ooh. And you replace it with the one you see. Talky hotel owner played by John Cleese in a 1970s sitcom. Yes, Gabby. Nutmeg Faulty. Nutmeg Faulty. Yeah, Basil Faulty becomes a Nutmeg Faulty. Um, next one. Actor who played Penny opposite Fred Astaire in Swing Time. Yes, Sophie. Parsley Rogers. Ginger Rogers becomes Parsley Rogers. Well done. Next category. Footwear. So swap the footwear in the picture for the footwear in the answer. 
Full name for a PT, a certified individual who designs exercise programmes. Yes, Gabby. Personal clog. Personal clog? It is personal clog. Well done. Personal trainer becomes personal clog. Uh, next one. Dish of meat and puff pastry named for a famous duke. Yes, Gabby. Well, beef, Wellington, beef, um, uh, uh, I just... I'm going to time you out, ah. Gabby, I'm afraid. Ah. You know it, Jeff. No, I don't know, but I'm going to guess beef espadrille. Beef espadrille? <laughs> it's absolutely right. That sounds like the worst thing you could have on menu. <laughs> I think I might have the beef espadrille. <laughs> it's a bit chewy. <laughs> Final question in this round. Cocktail of vodka, ginger beer and lime. I'm going to have a go myself. I... Oh, Sophie's going for it. I think it's a Singapore... Oh. I don't know what that shoe is. It's a moccasin. It is not, I'm afraid. It's not, I'm afraid. Oh, it's not a Singapore. Okay. It is not. I think it's a Moscow moccasin. Mm. Uh, it's a Moscow yes, mule. Yeah. Is that right? Mm, yeah. Yes. Moscow Moccasin, well done if you said that at home. That's the end of that round. The end of Only Fools and Zebras. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard on Wednesday's House of Games. We have a Tunde yet to get off the mark today. Jeff and Sophie have two points each. Yesterday's champion, Gabby, has three points. Well played, Gabby. And we play a pairs game. Our pairs game today is... Time time. Babatunde, you're in last place, so for the first time you get to choose your partner. Who would you like to play with? I'll play with Gabby. You're going to play with Gabby? Sophie and Jeff are a team as well. Now, in this round before the show, uh, we asked you for no particular reason to choose uh, a question you'd like one of your opponents to be asked. However, that is the question you are going to have to mime the answer to. So, Jeff, before the show, you uh, chose a question. Mm -hmm. The question you chose was this. Which TV series had the working title, The Library Mob? You will now mime that answer. You can stand if you wish, sit if you wish. You need to mime that answer. OK, am I allowed so to do... What am I allowed to do? Anything? Just the usual charades. Oh, um, usual charades. Yeah. OK. 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 Um, <laughs> this, is like, this is like Christmas with Jeff, which, <laughs> I, which I would love. OK, so... OK. Mm, six words. Yeah, OK. The... Six, sixth word. <laughs> Snuff. Sip tea. Uh, swill drink. Taste. Um, mm. Sip. Uh, birth word. S sun. Uh, Basque. Suntan. Uh, oh, I got shine. it. Shine. I got it. Uh, mm. Lays. The short word, small, small, tiny word. Mm -hmm. Oh, small. Mm. Short. The short, the... Um, big. Okay. Run, the sprint, the... the race. <laughs> the last, last short, the last little, the last small... Drink, pint, beer, uh, 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 the last half pint, the last uh, tinny, the last, <laughs> oh, the last draft, last wine, <laughs> the last of the summer oh, wine. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> You can talk now. Well done. The last of the summer wine. Is there a time limit on these? Yeah. No. It's not very well done, Jeff. <laughs> I tell you, last was amazing. Yeah. That was really good. Um, Baba Tunde, before the show, you chose a question. You now have to mime the answer. Yep. You know, the question you chose was... The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is a prequel to which book series? You now have to mime that answer to Gabby. I wish you the very best of luck. Three words. First word, the. Second word, eat. Food, greed, greedy. Third word, 
Dro uh, computer game. Drive. Computer. Computer. Game. The game. The Hunger Games. Yay, well done. <laughs> that was pretty efficiently done, Valentini. Nicely done. The Hunger Games was the answer there. Very well played. That was, uh, that was done quicker than the last of the summer <laughs> wine, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, Sophie, you chose a question before the show. Yes. You have to mind. You look like you're happy with the question you chose. Mm -hmm. uh, the question you chose was this. Which 1990 UK top ten single contains a sample of Herbie Hancock's Bring Down the Birds? Sophie, are you happy to mime it to Jeff? Mm hmm OK, let's do it. OK, five, yeah, five words. Heart. Rhythm. Um, beat, moves. Um, uh, oh, yeah. In. The. So, we f so something, something in the heart. Angry tiger growling. Gr 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 We're back to back to rhythm dancing. Um, something's in the heart. What's in the heart? I can write it on the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Move, <gasps> groove, groove is in the heart. Yeah! Hey, well done, yeah. Groove is in the heart. You you know, groove is in the heart. Oh yeah. Be light, of course. Yeah. Uh, course. Well yeah. done, <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> and nicely done, Jeff. <laughs> Gabby, you have a uh, question now that you chose before the show. You're now going to have to mime the answer. Which 1989 film was preceded by the Roger Rabbit cartoon Tummy Trouble when it was released in cinemas? Are you happy to mime the answer? Yes. OK, let's go. Okay. Five words. Uh. Fourth word. The. Fifth word. Baby. Uh, toddler. Um, adolescence, um, <laughs> baby, uh, child, uh, no. child, um, okay. first word, wipe, clean, oh, c eat, cake, uh, uh, spread, air. No, sound. oh. <laughs> sounds like. So it sounds like rabbit. Another word. Bunny. Bunny. <gasps> uh, bunny. Honey. 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 Second. I. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah. Yay, well done. <laughs> Very nicely played. I don't know how we did it. I think we got four points there, didn't we? <laughs> four out of four. Well played, everyone. Well done at home if you got any of those earlier as well. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard, which will look exactly like the previous leaderboard, except with two points more for everybody. Uh, Baba, you got two. Sophie and Jeff, four points each. Gabby stood out in the lead with five points. In the heart. Feels like those points were hard earned this time. <laughs> Very nicely done. Three rounds to go on Wednesday's House of Games. Here's your next one. It's all in the name. All the answers in this round are in the letters of your names. Point for a correct answer. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. The first two, Jeff, will be in the letters of your name. If you get one of these, you'll get two points. OK? So there's two points if you get it on your own name. One for anyone else. So somewhere in the letters there, you'll find the answer to this. Oxford Dictionary's word of the year for 2013, denoting a type of photo often shared on social media. Yes, Sophie. Selfie. Selfie? There it is in Jeff Stelling's selfie. Next one. Number of players on a rugby union team. Jeff. 15. 15. Absolutely. Two points for Jeff. Nicely done. Sophie, the next two are in your name, so two okay. points if you can get one of these. Sophie Duca, uh, here's your first one. Mythical Greek king who killed his father and married his mother. Yes, Sophie. Oedipus. Oedipus. I didn't know I had Oedipus. I was going to say, wow. you said the answer like someone going, hold on a minute, right. really? 
Yeah, Oedipus, very well done. Two points for Sophie. Next question. Title of both the 1977 album and single by David Bowie. Nobody, let's take a look. Heroes, we were looking for. Heroes is there. Babatunde, you've given us a lot of letters to work with here, thank you. Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> the question writers love a longer name. They love a longer Gorgeous. name. Two points if you can get either of these, one for anyone else. Island group off the northeast coast of Scotland that gives its name to a small breed of pony. Yes, Jeff. Shetland. It is Shetland. Very well done, Jeff. Shetland. Point to you. Next one. Band whose UK top ten hits in the noughties included What I Go to School For and Year 3000. Yes, yeah, Sophie. Busted. Busted? Got busted in you there, Brother Tunde. A point to Sophie, though. Gabby, the last two. Uh, are in the letters of Gabby Roslin. Two points if you can get one, one for anyone else. Computer coding system that consists of only two numbers. Yes, Sophie. Binary. Binary. It is binary. And the last question in the round. Sign of the zodiac that is represented by a pair of scales. Yes, Babatunde. Libra. Is it Libra? It is Libra. Well done, Babatunde. That round ends with the leaderboard looking a little bit like this. Babatunde has three. Gabby, you've got five. Jeff with seven. Sophie out in the lead with nine points. It's close, though. Isn't that a nice close one again? And also, I love a pattern. That's all the odd numbers, so mm. thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Um, shall we play round four today? See if we can spoil that pattern. Uh, it is... The nice round. Jeff, first thing we're going to do, you've got to guess the name of a person. OK? Uh, your three opponents will take their tablets out. They will see the name of that person, they'll give you a one-word clue. OK, you then got to work out who that person is. Uh, you will then also give a point to whoever gives you the best clue. So we're all trying to be nice to each other, mm. which is why it's called the nice right. round. So it should appear on your tablets. I need my glasses. Everyone is in. So Jeff has got to guess the name of a person. You'll have three words to help you. Sophie, the first word is? Birthday. Birthday. OK. Babatunde, second word. Uh, blonde. Blonde. OK. Gabby. <laughs> Blonde. Blonde. Blimey. You know this, Jeff. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe? Is the right answer, Jeff. Well played. <laughs> Just got a moment of inspiration. <laughs> uh, and who would you like to give a point to there? That's a tricky one. Yeah. Because it's the combination, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go Sophie because. Blonde might not have narrowed it down yeah, quite but as much. Maybe so, as more, yes, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So Sophie gets herself a point. Well done, Sophie. Jeff gets a point as well. And Sophie, it's now your turn to guess a person. Okay. Your uh, three opponents will each write down a word for you. Well done if you got that one at home. Marilyn Monroe sung Happy Birthday, Mr President, didn't she? Um, everyone is in. Sophie, you've got to guess the name of a person. You'll have three words to help you. Babatundi, the first word is? Writer. 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 Gabby, the second word? Importance. Importance. Oh, great. Uh, and Just Jeff? A bit more off the wall. But... Oh. Awards. I think I've got it. What do you think it is? I think it's Oscar Wilde. Oh, Oscar brilliant. Wilde. Exactly who it is. Well done. Thanks, guys. He is a writer, wrote the importance of being uh, earnest, and of mm. course, the Oscars. Uh, Sophie, who would you like to give a point to? I think I'm going to give it to Baba because I think it's the most essential clue. Baba to there. I mean, that's tactical, I'm going to say, Gabby. <laughs> 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 I thought I was being nice. I don't, I don't know how much writer narrows it down, but it's a, it's a, it's a very good clue. But, I mean, uh, it was a nice it does round. Not, not thank you. But Baba gets the point, but um, Baba. <laughs> Uh, and, Baba, you've now got to guess a person. You'll have uh, three words from your opponents to help you. But who will it be? Uh, 
Uh, Baba, you've got to guess the name of a person. You have three words to help you. Gabby, the first word is... <laughs> no. OK. Do we, do we need to go on? <laughs> I mean, uh, just for fun. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. for fun. Well, I was going on a, a rather different path in actual fact. Uh, here we go. Greek. <laughs> uh, and Sophie? A deer. <laughs> a female deer. A deer. Um, who do we think? Um, first person that springs to mind, uh, Homer Simpson. Is it Homer Simpson? <laughs> it is not. It's Homer the writer. Homer. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, I would have gone Homer Simpson. I suppose we didn't say real people, so it could have been... Uh, I'm going to give you a point, Baba Tundi, for Homer mm. Simpson. OK, thank uh, you. I mean, that's nice. But... <laughs> well, given that two people have written dough... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I insist, though, you have to give the point to uh, Jeff, cos he gave... Absolutely. The only, he gave the only clue to the actual yeah, answer. Yeah, Which was, uh, which was <laughs> a real Homer. Um, Gabby, let's finish this round with you. You've got to guess the name of a person. That was a lot of admin I had to do there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, everyone is in. Gabby, just looking at faces, I think people are slightly less confident about this mm. one, but... Uh, yeah, no, so I am too. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's find out, Jeff, what's Gabby's first word? Charity. Charity. Sophie. Radiation. Radiation. Charity and radiation. Oh, OK. Uh, and Baba Tunde? X-ray. X-ray, oh, yeah. Uh, there's so many charities. Mm. Very famous. Oh, this is gonna, it's gonna haunt me. This is the one that's going to haunt me. Um, a person's name, Charity. So, Tenny? Marie Curie. <gasps> Marie Curie, I'm oh not gonna God. tell you. Wow, how about that? <gasps> well done, Gabby. Wow, wow. I was literally about to say Marie Curie, and then, uh, where did that come from? Very well played. And who would you like to give a point well, to? Well, they all together, <laughs> but I think Charity, actually. Jeff gets another point there, so does Gabby. <laughs> Tablets away, please, everybody. And let's take a look at our leaderboard. We have one round to go. One round to go. We know what it's going to be. It's going to be Answer Smash. Look at this. Babatundi with five, Gabby with six. Jeff and Sophie just one point apart. We know what happens at this game. Don't we, do. Sophie? <laughs> <laughs> like, Sophie gets about half of them. Jeff yep. never gets any of them. Yep. But yeah. at some point, you will. At some point, it's going to click in. Mm, and right. maybe, mm. maybe it's today. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, today. maybe it's maybe today. Yeah. Don't forget, if you win, you're going to win a birdhouse yeah, yeah. for your beautiful menagerie of animals. Won't somebody think of the wildlife <laughs> Jeff can save? Let's do it, shall we? Let's play. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is... Football stadium. <laughs> OK. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. So it's going to come up at some point. Those will be the pictures. Stan is a 2000 UK number one single by which rapper? Yes, Baba Tunde. Eminemirates. I love that. <laughs> Sorry. As you buzzed in, I thought, oh, this is, this is a tough one. Yeah. Eminem Emirates? It is Eminem and Emirates. Well played, by the Tundee. Eminem Emirates Stadium. Next clue, next picture. Which Scottish-born scientist is widely credited as the inventor of the telephone? Do you know the top bit? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't know the top bit, now. If I knew Sophie. the top bit, that'd be OK. I don't know the answer, but I think you know the second bit. When do the second bit, yeah. Alexander Graham Bell Big Stadium. Bell Big Stadium. It's, oh, it's I wonder like, who's going to go. It, it, it looks like the Bell Big Stadium, okay. it is not, I'm afraid. <laughs> Jeff. Alexander Graham Belland Road. It is well done. Alexander Graham Bell, Elland Road. Next clue, next picture. Who presented Newsround from 1972 until 1989 and then joined Country File? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. John Craven Cottage. Yeah, John Craven Cottage, the theatre of dreams. <laughs> uh, very well done, John Craven and uh, the mighty Craven Cottage. Well played, Jeff. Uh, next category. Radio presenters will be the pictures. Which singer has had UK number one hits, including Summer Holiday and Mistletoe and Wine? That is Gabby. Cliff Richard Coles. Cliff Richard Coles? 
It is Cliff Richard, Richard Coles, Cliff Richard Coles. Next clue, next picture. Who played bored housewife Rhea Parkinson in the 70s and 80s TV sitcom Butterflies? Yes, Gabby. Wendy Craig Charles. Wendy Craig Charles, that's a mashup I'd like to see. <laughs> Absolutely, Wendy Craig and Craig Charles, Wendy Craig Charles. Next clue, next picture. Which city located on the River Danube is the capital of Slovakia? Anybody? Let's find out. Bratislava Nessa Feltz. Wow. <laughs> well done if you said Bratislava Nessa Feltz at home. Uh, nicely done. Any more categories? <laughs> we have no more categories. We talk, don't we, a lot in this life about redemption, about comebacks, <laughs> about giving people a second act in their life, a second chance. We saw Sophie on Monday redeem herself, didn't we? It was beautiful to see. She'd come on five shows, hadn't won, but never gave up, which is the key <laughs> in life. We saw, didn't we, on Tuesday, Gabby? Do you remember? She came on her show, five shows, didn't win, came back, won a yo-yo for Babatundi's son. OK? Jeff Stenning has been on before, hasn't he? Five shows, <laughs> never won. Also, didn't believe he could win. You could see he didn't believe he could win. Didn't believe he could do Answer Smash. That's the key. That is the key. Yeah. And then Sophie who knows about redemption, who redeems herself on Monday. <laughs> she knew you didn't know Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah, I know. She knew you knew Alan Road. She knew that. So what did she do? Do you know what? She didn't sit back. She donated a point. She did something. Yeah. She buzzed in because she believes in you, Jeff. <laughs> I believe in you. I said it before the yeah. show. And we all believe in you. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Richard. Shall we take a little look at today's yes. leaderboards? <laughs> on Monday, our winner was Sophie. On Tuesday, it was Gabby, our champion on Wednesday's mm. House of Games. Mr. Jeff hey. Stelling, hey. how about that? Thank you. Thanks, guys. So a beautiful Thank point you given to you all for donating me points as well along the way. So. But you had to have the points beforehand. That's the point. You put yourself in that position yes. and you got Craven Cottage. So uh, you're, you're, I'm forever grateful. <laughs> Jeff, you won yourself yeah. a prize. Fantastic. What would you like? Well, it's got, got to be the, the, uh, the bird the table. The bird house. box for uh, Jeff's wonderful country house, yeah. country home down there. Well played, Jeff. Nicely done. Three days down, three separate winners as well. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Weekly leaderboard looks like this. Whoa! Oh. Oh, look, at, look at that, Babatunde. <laughs> oh, my days. What's, yeah. what's going on there? We're having a great old time watching these three duke right? out, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> but Baba's like, my son's already got a prize. I don't care. <laughs> uh, nine points each, all three of you, with two days to go. Wow. We've got double points Friday coming up as well. Same time, same place tomorrow? Look forward to it ever so much. We'll see you here as well on the House of Games. and dogs will be watching now? Um, no, 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 they'll be asleep somewhere. Uh, you know what? Everyone is. Or they'll be chasing <laughs> birds. <laughs>